This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. Markets had another turbulent week as investors kept a close eye on developments between Russia and Ukraine. You know, you really start to wonder, is Vladimir Putin actually a day trader, manipulating the markets with his daily moves on the Ukrainian border? You know, shorting the market on the fear of an invasion or going long on the promise of a withdrawal? I guess we'll never know. But one thing we know is fear worked better than greed this week, with the market suffering its worst one-day decline of 2022, down 600 points on Thursday. Ouch. Now, geopolitical risk is not the only concern weighing on the market. With the strong economic recovery and disruptions to the supply chain, inflation has reached levels not seen for four decades. While a war between Russia and Ukraine could actually prolong this elevated inflation by disrupting supplies of important commodities from Russia, like oil, wheat, and industrial metals. Now, inflation and how the Federal Reserve will respond to elevated prices and the direction of the Ukrainian conflict is really the big concern on the part of investors. The Fed has indicated it likely will start raising rates next month, the first increase in more than three years. After that, many are predicting five to six to seven additional increases. St. Louis Federal Reserve President James Bullard cautioned this week that inflation, in his words, could get out of control and is calling for a full percentage point hike as early as July. Hey, thanks, James. Nothing like throwing gasoline on a market on fire. Now, the big question is why are long-term rates so low? The 30-year Treasury yield closed on Friday at 2.24%, Not that much higher than the 10-year, which is hovering around 2%. Are the bond gods telling us that inflation at 7.5% as measured by the CPI is truly transitory and will soon decline? Or does the Fed have their finger on the scale, since they're still buying bonds in the open market with promises to taper all purchases by sometime next month? All eyes will be on the Fed in March. So with so much uncertainty, it's no wonder the market is experiencing its first real correction in almost a year. Historically, the second year of the president's first term is generally positive, but experiences really wild first half volatility. And a lot of times the first nine months are actually negative. But keep in mind, a correction is nothing more than a repricing of assets short term, not a change in the direction of the economy. And this economy is booming. I expect the market won't be far behind. Now, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. To get your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.